here at home, 18 and 12 on the season. My cousin's Donna Papa, the NFCA Hall of Famer and former North Carolina head coach. Glad to be with you for what is an important game here at late. It's the eighth pitch coming to Abigail Knight. And she takes inside ball four. And the Niners have the first batter of the game aboard with Knight for the temperature to warm up for the feels like temperature just to get above 30 degrees. One, two, a flare out to right field. It's nabbed by Ensley, and that's out number one. With NC State in the lead, 18 wins for the pack and six for Charlotte. Shallow right field, Ensley underneath, and she's recorded both outs here in the first. Two, two to Chansey down the right field line, and that's off of Ensley's glove, and it caroms all the way to the wall. Knight is around third. She comes in to score to make it one nothing. Charlotte, and Chansey is safely in at third with two out. The Niners strike first on a hard line drive down the right field line. And it turned into a really big uh, inning for the the 49ers. Anytime, uh, you know, she got a jump on it, but just didn't get extended far enough with her glove uh, to, to real. Took on Northwestern there, struck out nine against that uh, club and gets her go. first here to finish off the inning. Yeah, that's it. So one run on the board for Charlotte on an Ella Chancey RBI. Thrown so much and she hasn't had much recovery, but uh, she had a great weekend uh, for, for the 49ers. And a great start here as she gets Tarpey. Keep an eye out for Amanda Hassler there in the cleanup spot. Eight home runs, but Taylor Ensley has stroke seven of those. This one out to short, and Wynn bobbles the ball. Has no play over at first, and Ensley is safely aboard. That brings up the pitcher, Madison Insko. One out, one on. Center field, Mitchell on the move, and it is out of here. A two-run homer for Madison Insko. Her first of the year. And after going down one nothing in the top of the inning, the Wolfpack take the lead two to one here at the bottom of the first. That's always great when you can uh, hit and pitch and uh, be able to help yourself in your game. And that just kept carrying there on Mitchell. Thought she might have a play as she approached the warning track and then watched it sail over the center field fence going in the in the gaps right center left center gaps well speaking of the right center yeah, field gap it it's is. Garrett on the move to the <laughs> there warning it is. track perfect timing and runs it down for out number two and the base is clear here in the last of the first barefoot gets the pop up right field Garrett scoots over and puts it away the inning is over and NC State has the lead Hard hit grounder under the glove of Lambrick for a base hit for Lexi Winters. And for the Niners this year, they bring in Abigail Knight. Last year, Ashley Washington was their leadoff hitter. She rolls this towards short, and Smith delivers a dart over to first to retire Washington. Who's now just three for 33 on the year. So not having her ideal season, but it goes to show how rosters can... You know, somebody gets hot and you don't want to change it and let them continue to, to play. So... Um, and, and maybe, you know, for them, nobody's really... Uh, a grad assistant on this year's Charlotte staff. Number nine hitter, Michaela Mitchell, and she pops it foul into the glove of Tarpey, who did a great job to decelerate right in front of her own dugout. Grab that for out number two. Two and one tonight with runners at first and second, two out. And that's hit to center field. A couple steps over for Goins. And the inning is over. So Charlotte threatens but does not score. One and a half gone. It's the it's, that is the person that is their practice player of the day. And so it just reinforces what they're trying to build in this program. Hard shot for Michaela Marbury. Hit right at win. Yeah, my daughter is really excited that she's being able to be recognized in this way. Right. Yeah, it, it, it's really important, and it, and it really is the fiber of your team, and you're building that fiber, oh, so it'll be real. Ambrick takes the walk, the first issued by Barefoot. The runner at first base with two away. And then it gives you different lineups, and we did that last year, and you just sometimes have to try something different. Fly out to right, and the inning is over, so both teams go score.
sets up a great battle between pitcher and hitter who each know what they want to do and waiting mm -hmm. for the other one to make the That's mistake. Right. Yeah, she just didn't get what she wanted. So a leadoff walk for Rhodey puts her at first to bring up. Oh, one, and that gets past Tarpey down the right field line, all the way into the corner. Tisdale, green light around third. She comes in, beats the throw to the plate, and Charlotte ties the game here in the third. It's two all on the RBI single from Kaya Garrett. Oh. She really kept her hands in inside on that ball and uh, went right through it. Nice hard shot, scored a run. Smith charges, gloves, and throws just in time to get Chansey over at first, and Garrett over to third on the ground up. Yeah, she made a really nice play on that ball. It was really hard that path to be able to come back through the zone. And it just keeps it a short, short path to the ball. But she could not hold up there, so she's down on strikes. 0 for 2 with a cut. game. She's one of the only catchers that calls her own game. Chopper second base should do it. And Lambrick ends the inning. But Charlotte gets another run. And he all do up. And all two runs yeah. responsible yeah. for the Wolfpack coming from Madison Insko. But here's an extra base hit for Tarpey as she slides in safely to second to start things off with a double. First pitch swinging again, couple of hops, and Richie retires Ensley one down. Been a lot, a lot of hard hit balls that have been fouled away. Oh, great play. Insko almost got Tarpey, who was taken off from second right. base there. But Charlotte had that played well as, as they've adjusted to a team that pulls the ball quite right. a bit. Mm -hmm. For the Wolfpack catcher, who's going to see ball four here. She takes first. And that should end the inning with the pop up over to the right side. Hoppler's got the grab. And barefoot, strands, runners at first. Really working up and in there against Ashley Washington. Wexelman starts up. I mean, there's some great pitching around the country. Slap that into right. That's down for a base hit for Tegan Ritchie. He's only walked four times this year and also only struck out five times. And now she adds another tally to her ledger. She takes that off the arm and heads on over to first base. Arm side run there for Wexelman. Down and away, gets away from Hassler, and each runner advances a base. It's Richie to third, and Williams into second. Well, two years ago, 9 4 here in Raleigh. Well struck, left center field. Goins on the run at the warning track. She makes the catch. Richie tags at third, she scores, and Williams from second to third as well. Great base running and great defense from Goins to track that down. But Charlotte retakes the lead. It's 3 to 2, 49ers. Yeah, she really hit that ball well. But Ellie got a great jump on the ball. And that's what you want to have in your center fielder. And the only play that she could make at that point was trying to get that runner at third base. And that's curling into left center field. It gets past Goins. And that plates Williams, Rohde, head first dive into second. She is safe. It looked like the throw beat her there, and she is in safely with a double. That was a very well hit ball. Uh, center fielder made a great throw in, and uh, Rohde just turned on the Jets. Well, it curled away like a bad golf yeah. shot heading for the rough. Yeah. That worked out really well for Rohde. Yeah. And it, it looks it like looks she like just she, got under the tag. Yeah, she did. Shallow right field, and the inning is over. Charlotte gets two, 
4-2, 49ers over the Wolfpack, and when we come back, I count. Can you, can you guys hold on? They're playing without me. <laughs> can you go push their base? Can you go push their Donna, base? Donna, you know how to do it, right? Sure. And a liner into right field. That gets down and takes a carom off the wall. Big turn for Goodwin. And she is into second base, fired up, because now the Wolfpack can bring the tying run. Have a different arm out there and uh, have a different response. And this is kind of what Coach Lefwich was saying as well, is trying to get around on those pitches that are right. tailing away. They played for NC State. The first two sisters that played for NC State were the Irvin sisters, and they were the first recruits 20 years ago. Uh, they bring so much energy and so much fun to the team, but they're the type of people that she wants to recruit in the future. And a solid foundation for this team in year Winthrop, and has pitched more than 100 innings over each of the last two years. And she gets a cold third strike there on Chansey. Her second day, and one down in the fifth. Yeah. ACC. And wins over eight of the 13 teams in the league. Hoffler trying to get out of the way, takes that. She's hit by the pitch and aboard for the first time. Start the inning, Corey Hoffler is aboard at first after she was hit by a pitch. First pitch swinging, Lexi Winters puts into the glove of Taylor Ensley in right field for the second out. Kane a little bit um, on kind of controlling her brain and uh, getting in a spot where, again, it's just one pitch at a time. London Dirks, her first plate appearance. <laughs> um, you've got to kind of saddle them a little bit because they want to come back sooner than maybe they should, but um, she's a real competitor on the mound, and she knows what it's like to take them deep. Pitch feels like the biggest pitch. Sure. And they've got the defense positioned yeah. perfectly there to retire Enslin. They've done their homework. Do looking for a 1-2-3 inning. And that comes in and hits the inside of the right knee of Insko. On most times. Big pitch there from Sam Gress. As she top of the standings right now, it's Virginia Tech, Duke, Clemson, Florida State, and then Georgia Tech. And over at first base, NC State gets. Knight rolls over on the 3-2 over to first. Tarpey's got it for out number two. Well, we were just looking at the, the AAC. And she looks at a called strike three. Here we are in the sixth, our first with her lineup. And I think it's just, you know, the process of everybody uh, buying in and, and uh, learning a new system of um, maybe not having that that mindset of, you know, swinging for. And the changeup does the job. Seasons at Clemson. And she finds a hole on the left side, a two out base hit for Hannah Goodwin. Flair to short, run down by Richie, and the inning is over. Gress gets out of it, faces four bat. Two hops, Marbury on the back end. Gets out number one. And it's been a really fun game between these two. Marbury trying to get that one in a difficult spot. But can't hang on to it. For Becker, this is just her third at back of the year. 
Uh, you want to see speed on the base pass? There it is, but an even better throw from behind the dish. That was going to get out of the inning unscathed and face the minimum here top seven. And gets what she needs. So at a minimum, the task is two runs for NC State. Thankfully, a lot of schools have stepped up and built stadiums and um, can play in places that you should play in. Rounded to short, great charge and a throw on the run. From Richie gets the job done. Dirk's on the run, chases toward the line and she's got space to get it. NC State down, base is clear in the second time on a 3-2 pitch. Ensley swings and misses, the ball game is over. And the Charlotte 49ers come on the road here to Raleigh and pick up a 4-2 win over NC State. Yeah, um, you know, it, it uh, kind of, been, uh, but I thought uh, the pitchers really wound up being the ones that kind of controlled it near the end, so. Scoreless game over the last three frames. And up next for NC State.